Police mentioning those five homicides all connected. And earlier today, they announced that those homicides meet the definition of a serial killer being involved. It's still unclear whether there is one suspect or several suspects. Stockton police providing us with this map, which we'll show you on screen here. And that is where each of these involved homicides took place. Now, unfortunately, homicides in Stockton tend to take place overnight and in the early morning hours. So we asked Stockton police chief why these homicides are different and why they're connected. He said it's for several reasons. First of all, the victims were alone at the time they were killed and they were ambushed. These were completely random attacks. They were not drug or gang related. That's just some of the reasons why these five homicides are connected and why they believe there is a serial killer involved. Stockton Police Chief warning neighbors, of course, tonight to be careful, to remain vigilant. Here's the chief now. Here's what I can say is that we have a series of homicides that we believe are interconnected. The, the problem we have, if we have no evidence to tell us that it's one person, two or three, we just don't know that. We don't have that information. We have no video footage that has even captured a crime, that has even captured a handgun in someone's hand. No video footage of a crime, but we did see a still picture of a likely suspect or at least a person of interest, though the picture was very tough to make out. The person was covered head to toe in black. It was unclear if that person was a male or a female. But again, there is a person of interest at large right now. Again, these homicides, all five of them connected and likely the work of a serial killer. Now, there is a tip line for anyone who has any information. The Stockton Police Department is asking that you come forward. And Laura, we had the opportunity to see that picture you're talking about uh, as you were leading up to the chief's comments. Um, and as you described it, you're right. The, no description at all. You can't really make out any identifiable features. Did, did the police chief talk at all about the context of that photo or did they just hand it out? The police chief was asked if that photo came from a public camera or came from a local business and where the photo was taken. The chief did not have answers for us. And like you said, he couldn't even let us know if that person was a male or a female. You can see in that picture, it's hard to tell.